Hello people, welcome to this video. Let's see quickly and easily all you need to know to create your first video project with Corel Video Studio X9. If you have problems with the accent used in this video, please enable our closed captions in the bottom right corner. Video Studio is one of the most amazing softwares specialized in video editing to play and edit your videos and add other media, like text and pictures. This software is composed by three main workspaces, all listed on top. Capture is used to help you get media and source files by recording audio or video. Edit is the main workspace used to create and edit your video project. Share is used to export and upload your finished project, offline or online. We will see in this video how to use the edit and the share workspaces. Let's create a simple video project with files we have already. Let's open the edit workspace. First thing to do is to add your own files you will use to create your video. On the right, you have the main navigator. This collects all media, effects and the main features inside Video Studio. Under the first section, called Media, you can browse all the files imported inside Video Studio. If you don't find your own files, you can import others going to import media files and browsing for them. To import multiple files, just hold Ctrl down and select. Once imported in the navigator, all the files inside the media are ready to be imported in your project. Simply drag and drop your files on the timeline below. You can add videos, pictures and sound voice recordings. The timeline is used to work on your project. It is divided in different tracks, each containing different kinds of files. Overlay and video tracks contain videos and pictures, while music and voice tracks your sound files. The imported files inside the timeline tracks are also called clips. Picture and video clips are always in dark green color, with thumbnails on them, while sound files in a blue color. You can preview each clip by checking the preview on the left. By default, the preview is in project mode, showing how is your final video in progress which is the full content inside your timeline. You can use the player to play and stop, or simply click on the timeline to fix the exact frame you want to check. In fact, the preview shows exactly how is your project right under the playhead. To check more carefully, simply click and drag the playhead. Mind that audio does work just if you actually put all in play. To check a particular clip, click on it to select it. This will be highlighted in orange and the preview will turn in clip mode. In this case, the preview plays just such clip selected. To deselect, click on a vacant space. Let's see how to edit your clips. You can move clips on the same track or in another track, clicking and dragging it. Keep in mind that video and overlay tracks are quite different. In case you move such clips on the video track, you are just able to change their playback order. If they are in the overlay track, they can be placed in any instant of time. Plus, the overlay tracks are used to apply picture-in-picture -picture effects, or PIP, used to place a video or picture on another. So, if you place a visible clip on a lower overlay track, 
You will put it on the clip that stays on the upper video track, ready to be edited in sides and position directly from the preview. You can click and drag to set the clip position, drag the yellow nodes to scale and use the smaller green ones to skew. In case you mistake anything, remember to use Ctrl and Z to undo. You can also stretch or shorten your selected clips in order to regulate their duration in time by clicking and dragging their edges when your pointer becomes a double black arrow. Keep in mind that videos and music files can't be stretched over their maximum duration. In this case, you can loop the clip with multiple copies. You can cut, copy, paste or delete a selected clip right-clicking on it. If you don't want to loop the clip, you can always trim it. A trimmed clip has its playback speed changed, so it can be played fully in a shorter or longer time as you need. If you approach the clip edges like before and hold the shift down, the double arrow changes color. If you stretch the clip, you will decrease its playback speed and so it will last longer. If you shorten it, it will be played faster. You can apply this to music clips as well. To split a clip in two, just fix the playhead and press S key. You can also hide and show content inside a track clicking on the track icon on the left. To zoom in and out your timeline around your playhead, hold the control down and use your mouse wheel. These are the basis of what you can do with Video Studio. Let's see other amazing features available here. Inside the navigator, you have other sections on the left. Instant Project collects several ready templates in order to make Avesan projects in a short time, try them out. Transition collects several transitions you can apply to video and picture clips. In case you have a single clip, you can use transitions to make cool fade-in and fade-out effects. Just drag and drop a transition in one of the edges of the clip. This will appear with its icon, without changing the overall clip duration. Plus, the length of the transition icon indicates also the transition speed and its duration. For example, the longer the icon is, the slower the transition will be. To change its duration, simply select it first and then drag its edges. To change the kind of transition, instead, just drop another one on it. To remove the transition completely, just right-click and go to Delete. In case you want to adjust the transition, just select it and click on Options above. You can also apply transitions between two clips. Just overlap them as much as you want the transition to last. Then you can edit, delete and adjust it as seen for single clips. Under Title, you can add the text and titles on your timeline. Just drag and drop. Title clips can be added inside video, overlay or title tracks represented as clips in green with a T icon. Then just double click to edit it in full. Double click on the preview to type in. On the preview, click and drag to move the title. Use the yellow nodes to scale and the violet ones to rotate. To adjust font, sides and alignment, just set the correct settings on the right. You have also the filter section that collects special effects you can apply to videos and pictures. 
just choose an effect and drop it on the interested clip. Clips with filters do show an FX icon in a corner. Respect to transitions, effects are applied on single clips per time. To adjust the settings of an effect, select the clip and click on options on the right. This is divided by two sections. Under Attribute section, you find all filters applied, listed all on the left. By default, when you add a new effect, just the latest one is applied. To apply multiple filters, just uncheck Replace last filter and add your effects. Multiple effects are applied in order according to the list, from bottom to top. To edit an effect, just select it from the list. Use the up and the down arrows on the right to change its position. Use the cross to remove it. Use Customize Filter at the bottom to personalize its settings. To enable or disable an effect, just click on the eye icon. If you open the Attribute section of a clip inside an overlay track, you will get also mask and chroma key effects and basic motion used to apply motion on the clip. Besides attribute, you have another section used to apply adjustments. For example, for picture clips, you can adjust color, brightness and contrast. Use the rotate buttons to rotate by 19 degrees, or use pen and zoom to set the parts of the clip to show off. With video clips, you can apply color adjustments, but also change the video speed. With music clips, you can adjust the speed and apply also audio effects with audio filter. To save your project, just go to File and then to Save As. These, with a .vsp format, will save all your current status in your timeline. Once your project is finished, render the final video by switching to the Share Workspace. On the left, you can check out a wall preview of your project. Use the orange markers at the bottom to select the parts of the video to render. On the right, you have different sections. Use computer to save the final video in your computer. Device to save your video in a suitable format for mobile and consoles. And web to render and directly upload online. When choosing computer or device, select the file format, the resolution, and also the destination folder more below. Then, just go to start. Thanks for watching this video. Check out our YouTube channel to learn more.